Ah, yes, the Mona Lisa. One of, if not the most famous painting in the world. Well, we call it the Mona Lisa, but its actual name in Italian is La Gioconda, or in French it's called La Joconde. But have you ever wondered to yourself why France has it and not Italy? Like, come on, it was made by an Italian guy called Leonardo da Vinci, not Leonardo da Vinci. If you were to ask Italy, he would probably tell you that the French stole it from him. But if you were to look at history, it's actually not like that. Despite all of the accusations from Italy, France is the rightful owner of the painting. Well, the French Republic is the owner right now. But why? Well, you see, it all began with the French King Francis I, also known as François de Grandes, which translates to Francis of the Big Nose. Yes, that's an actual nickname they gave him. In 1516, Francis invited Leonardo da Vinci to come and live in France to spend his twilight years in Paris and to work for him and his court. When Leonardo arrived in France, he also brought with him the Virgin and Child, Saint John the Baptist, and obviously the Mona Lisa. Behold, Leonardo, here in France, you can do and draw anything your heart desires. Okay, old man, do you have the painting with you, yes or no? And so, the French royal family owned the painting. You know, until the French Revolution happened. In 1789, the Mona Lisa ended up as property of the French Republic and later even ended up being hanged in Napoleon's bedroom. But then he decided to give it to the Louvre. Now, today we all know how the Mona Lisa looks like, but back then not, not, not everyone knew about it. Like yes, in the world of art everybody knew about the Mona Lisa and Leonardo, but Outside of the artist world, no one, nobody really knew about it. Until 1911, when it was stolen from the Louvre. And the news of the heist spread throughout the globe and made the Mona Lisa known even outside the world of art. Though nobody knew who stole it, a lot of people began coming up with theories. Some people even accused Picasso of stealing the Mona Lisa. But it was later found out that it was actually stolen by a Louvre employee, an Italian one called it Vincenzo Perugia. The reason for the heist was to bring back the painting to its original owner, so Italy, after Napoleon, so to say, stole it from them. But he was later captured and sentenced for one year and 15 days in prison. But uh, he was so popular in Italy because of his strong, patriotic spirit that he ended up only serving seven months, so yeah. And after all that drama, the painting returned to the Louvre. I personally find this type of logic uh, stupid because it's like, imagine one day I'm walking down the street and I see a person wearing jeans, like, and I walk up to them and tell them, hey, are you Italian? And then respond with, no, why? And then I look, look at them and go, those pants don't belong to you. So here you have it, the story of how France ended up with the Mona Lisa and Italy ended up with nothing. So remember kids, uh, wash your teeth.